Number 1. Quasar Upcoming James Webb Space Telescope study will help researchers understand more about the outflows, allowing scientists to better model the hot and cold gas, and establish what implications this has for how and where stars emerge in fast-moving galaxies. Number 2. Central Region of Orion Nebula this color composite mosaic of the Orion Nebula's center region was created from 81 photos from the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope at Chile's Paranal Observatory. The well-known trapezium stars emerge near the center, amid the trapezium cluster, a densely packed home for over a thousand young stars. Webb will be trained by researchers in this region to examine processes linked with the creation of stars and planets. Number 3. Snake in Galactic Plane The snake is a serpentine-shaped cloud that is particularly filamentary. The blue dots in this Spitzer Space Telescope infrared image represent comparatively dust-free stars, whereas the red dots are embedded in developing stars. Number 4. Brick in Galactic Center, Spitzer Space. Telescope images depict the Brick, a region in the heart of the Milky Way. The Brick, which is more than 100,000 times the mass of the Sun, does not appear to be generating any huge stars, at least not yet. However, given its tremendous mass in such a limited region, if it does create stars, as scientists believe it will, it will be one of the most massive star clusters in the Milky Way galaxy. Number 5, NGC 1333 Webb will be used by scientists to seek for the tiny, weakest residents of the neighboring star nursery, NGC 1333. It is an excellent location for searching for very faint, free-floating objects, particularly ones with planetary masses. The Spitzer Space Telescope took this image. Number 6, Cloudy Exoplanet This artist's impression depicts a rocky exoplanet orbiting a red dwarf star with a wispy, foggy atmosphere. Astronomers have discovered a novel method that could allow Webb to detect the atmosphere of an exoplanet in just a few hours of observation time. Number 7. The Galactic Center in Infrared Light the center of our Milky Way galaxy is obscured from optical telescopes by clouds of obscuring dust and gas. However, the Spitzer Space Telescope's infrared detectors penetrate much of the dust in this spectacular sight, showing the stars of the dense galactic center region. The forthcoming Webb Telescope will provide a significantly enhanced infrared vision, revealing fainter stars and crisper details. Number 8. Comet hale bopp Web scientists intend to observe a target of opportunity comet, one that is not currently known but is expected to be discovered during the telescope's first year of operation. If they're lucky, they might catch an intergalactic comet, or they might train Webb on a comet like hale bopp which is shown above in a ground-based shot just after crossing perihelion in April 1997. Comet hale bopp assumed to be from the Oort cloud, was one of the most visible comets in decades. It was visible to the naked eye for an unprecedented 18 months, and it could be viewed even from major cities with light pollution. Number 9. SDSS J122-26-PLO2152 This is a Hubble Space Telescope image of the galaxy SDSS j 226 plo 2 which has been magnified and deformed by the enormous gravity of a galaxy cluster in front of it. It is one of four distant star-forming galaxies that Webb and the Templates team will investigate. The team chose it as an example of a non-dusty galaxy.